I want to talk to you about a critical thing in relation to a handheld release, and I refer to it as presentation. So thumb presentation to the trigger. This is totally important for your shots, either taking too long to go off or going off too fast, because the reality is that's all relative to how much preload you're putting on your trigger before you're starting to pull, okay? So a lot of times when I shoot, you can watch me draw back and you kind of see me, you know, kind of bring my thumb here. I'll relax that thumb, maybe my fingers wiggle a few times, but once that's happened, I'm pulling. And when you have a trigger and it's being addressed the correct way by your thumb, then what happens is when it's shaped properly, that trigger moves just from pulling. And that's how you wanna activate a shot with a handheld release. You don't wanna squeeze the thumb and you don't wanna bury that knob back in the thumb like that as well. You really want it in a very particular spot so that when you shape your thumb a little bit, then you don't have to move the thumb at all anymore the trigger will move from you pulling. So here's the drill that I'm gonna have you do. If you have a shot trainer, then this will be a nice little training thing. So I'm gonna turn my back to you here so that you can see this come right in close. So what I've done is I took a marker and when I'm holding a release the same as if I was anchoring on my face, this mark right here is at five o'clock on the barrel. Then on my thumb right here, I've also made a mark. Because what I want you to do as a drill is I want you to hold the release and I want you to, to pretend like you're drawing back and just move the mark to the mark and slowly relax the thumb so that the tip curls around to the front of this trigger. And you want to do that without putting so much on that it fires. And again, you're trying to line up the five o'clock and that part of your thumb. Now, when you do that properly and you, as a drill, me looking at these two marks, I can easily see where my thumb's going. And this is such an important thing just to practice, just learning to bring the mark to the mark and knowing what that feels like, practicing it a few times and then bringing it right to your anchor and work on the same thing. Hold it away from yourself. Okay, that mark was perfect. So you can bring the thumb, present, and then reveal. Okay, too far back. So you can present, look, oh wow, now I'm way too far forward, right? So the key is to learn to just drop the thumb, put the crack of the thumb at five o'clock on the trigger, and then slowly relax the thumb so that there's now skin in front of that release. So as you pull back, it is going to fire just from that little bit of added pressure. Now this is so critical because preload to the trigger is very relative to presentation and how you present your thumb to the trigger and how you wrap it around the trigger because once you've done that properly, then all I'm doing is pulling my elbow back with an extra pound or two and that release breaks perfectly. So a great drill, thumb crack to five o'clock, work on bringing the thumb down, getting it to where you know what you're feeling for and slowly shaping that thumb without firing the release. So once you've done that and you learn how much you can shape your thumb without it firing, now you're really starting to understand the pressure variation of your trigger. Now what's important about knowing that is now you're able to unlock another step of shooting a release 
without knowing when it's going to go off, but you might just have it go off a little bit faster. So there's been hunting times where I've had to make a shot very fast and people say, are you not punching the release right there? What I'm doing is I am going very heavy on my preload and I'm also pulling as I'm getting to that preload, I'm already pulling through. So my shot is gonna go much, much faster. I'm certainly not gonna be as steady as if I were on a target, allowing the float to happen and slowly building pressure without changing the front float. I'm gonna be a little bit more darty, but it's also an opportunity in a hunting situation where you really have to act fast. So in those situations, it's a matter of coming to your anchor point, presenting the trigger and the elbow is pulling back. So you can see as I'm shaping in the correct position and I'm pulling that elbow, my shot's able to go much, much faster than if I was just in a target scenario where I was wanting to trust the float. I had plenty of time. I could find my spot, shape my thumb, and now I can just be much slower and smoother as I pull through the shot. So this is such a critical homework piece. You can do it with a string, do it on the phone, do it on the couch, do it in the car, on the way to a hunt, do it while you're in a blind to pass boredom. Get you a small little something like this so you can just look at this presentation and just work on that muscle memory of coming over, shaping your thumb and learning to shape the thumb without the release going off. And once it's shaped, now that added skin, again, in front of the barrel is now gonna continue to pile up and turn white as I'm pulling and it'll fire silky smooth, I promise you.